Hey, what's up guys? Mike Philcraft Survival here at HQ and want to talk to you today about our new everyday carry and mobility bags from Philcraft Survival. Hey, I don't want to make this a commercial, but what I want to talk to you about is the reason this integration is important. Uh, one of the things you should understand about Philcraft and the mission that we started doing from the get-go is we wanted to make uh, the idea of preparedness convenient. We wanted to put things in your hands integrate it into your life and make it so it's not uncomfortable and it's something that you could easily integrate. So everything you're seeing today is based around a vehicle and its integration inside of it. So if you displace from your vehicle, you could take things on the go, you could cross swap and cross pollinate all the equipment that you need. And I'm excited about, uh, about this. First, I wanna say big shout out to Task Force 160th for hooking me up with this hat. This is Six Guns Don't Miss, uh, the attack helicopter Little Bird, which has saved my butt many times downrange. I had one of the warrant officers, a CW4, in the hallway at Task Force 160th at Campbell personally give me this hat, and it means a lot, and I always cherish that. So thanks, guys, for your service and all the things that you do for this country. Hey, guys, so let's talk about the integration. So visor panels. I made this. This is the passenger side. This is the driver's side based on my experiences as a global response staff officer. When I was in the CIA and, and random countries all over the world, it was just us and a Land Cruiser slow rolling all over the place. So we had to come up with creative ways to have access to gear that wasn't so military-ish, right? So when you have equipment and it's first aid, for example, you need ready access, meaning you need to like reach out your arm and be able to grab something that's gonna save your life because a vehicle accident, especially a rollover, is going to be catastrophic. So if you have your first aid equipment in your trunk and an aid bag, well, that's not going to do you any good when you're hanging from your seatbelt upside down in a ditch. So we made this based on a visor panel, made the uh, pouches a little bit more low vis, where you can grab it, the big uh, red uh, T handle, grab this, rip it down, and then you have access to all the gear that you need on the go. We also did it so where you could grab the entire thing off the visor and then move to the casualty um, or, or cross pollinate it against other gear. For example, this gear right here, this is the uh, mobility bag. This is a panel pack. So I could run the integration of this. Don't do it like that, it's sloppy. Where it's on the back of my uh, seat and if I have to bug out, I simply remove it top and bottom, and now it's a low-vis backpack. It's a bug-out bag. But for the ability to cross-pollinate it into this is why we did it. So let me show you the first bag that we made that I'm excited to tell you about. So this is the Everyday Carry 0101. I made this because there was no bag on the market that was convenient to carry in my vehicle, but also during Everyday Carry that would carry the gear that I like to carry. Uh, what I mean is, like, if you're carrying a truck gun, I carry a 300 Blackout BCM, which is this big. No bags would fit this gun and allow me to carry this where I needed to go. So this bag is the bag that I recommend you carry at your passenger's feet, meaning it's ready accessible. You reach down, you grab it, and you could bug out. So I made this. It's like a travel bag. But I also integrated the same panels. So now you can integrate off the visor, off the, off the uh, panel, off the back of the seat, and put it inside of your bag where there's no excuse. You could take your first aid and survival equipment on the go. I also integrated a quick attach and detach uh, sling that allows you to sling bag it. Also, check this out. I mean, little details and features like that. That's expensive um, to, to make and manufacture. But now I can sling this bag out on my back, on the front. And I even did the attachment points where you could attach it on the bottom or the top and carry this bag everyday carry. One of the other things that I did was uh, I made it so we could integrate this into a range bag. Uh, I've been using this as an everyday carry bag, a travel bag, it fits underneath the seat in front of you uh, on an airplane. But I'm going to make the insert for you to use this as a range bag as well, because it makes the perfect range bag where you have first aid on site as well as your survival. So I, I think this bag is the perfect everyday bag. So 
moving on, let's talk about the 40. So the 40 is a step up, obviously. This is the bag that I recommend you put behind your passenger seat where you still have ready access, but this is the extension of your capability. Like the everyday carry stuff is the stuff that I'm focused on with security, with survival for first aid, but this is like hygiene, food and water, your camp stuff. All of this stuff is going to be accessible. And I put cross straps, uh, shoulder straps, like rucksack straps, so you could bear more weight. So this is like I'm displacing from my vehicle in the parking lot while I'm going hiking or going to my campsite, going to my hunting site, and I could displace with all of that gear. This is called the clean bag. Um, moving on, uh, also the same integration, by the way, of pouches with a molly attachment point where I could fit, I mean, this could fit in the 20, but this fits perfectly in here. Bam, 40 liters. Uh, a whole bunch of gear can, can go inside of here. But we also came up with a, I feel like that guy at Costco that's going over the, the different types of components and the, the different blends for his blender. Um, this is the 80. This is what I would consider a dirty bag. So a lot of people carry recovery equipment, uh, toe straps, shackles, uh, uh, hoses, the list goes on when they're overlanding and off-roading. I recommend one that you always do that. But when we look at this bag, I had it to where I made the reverse side slick so you could just simply turn it inside out and easily clean it. A lot of the bags that I used before were made of cordura or nylon. Which there's nothing wrong with that. They're pretty strong bags. But in using PVC, which is water resistant, the only reason it's not waterproof, by the way, is because of the zipper components. But generally speaking, it's almost waterproof. But water resistance, um, when you're trying to get dirt out of nylon, doesn't really work uh, really well. This, I could turn inside out and just simply brush out. And this is my dirty bag. 80 liters, this needs to be in the trunk of your vehicle or the back of your truck. This is where all your dirty gear goes. And I did the same exact thing where I put cross straps, rucksack straps that could easily quick detach and quick attach to the hooks that are right here, which is really easy to do. I mean, these, these rotate, like the small details is what we paid attention to. The, the, the ability for that to happen um, makes a lot easier for you to carry this. And now I could just ruck this out and bear more weight on it if I had to. So let's say uh, you're moving to a recovery situation. I could take this bag to go instead of pulling out a, a recovery strap and then a shackle. And then I have all this stuff in my hands. It could all be in one place. Now look, it's, it's bags, guys. It's bags, but the integration of all of this in a system is the reason I did it. I want you to be able to focus on mobility and, and have a structured plan and the way that you load out your gear from everyday carry from first aid to survival all the way to mobility look all this gear was designed for you i hope you guys dig it because i do it's all the gear that i wish i had when i was in special operations and all the gear that i uh, advocate for and i carry myself um, philcraftsurvival.com my personal instagrams at mike.a.glover where i focus a, a lot of education for free for you guys um, until next time guys stay alert Stay alive.